You're watching B2B Cambodia's Legal Update, where we delve into the latest legal changes and developments in Cambodia's laws and regulations. Today, we'll be speaking with Ms. Sok Panseka, Managing Partner at Satalai Law Office, about commercial arbitration law in Cambodia. Hi, thank you so much for speaking with us today. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for having me. Of course. Yes. So I think one of the things that many companies, when they come to Cambodia, the, what they're very curious about is the commercial law and particularly the commercial arbitration process and how disputes are typically resolved. So could you kind of break down how that process goes in Cambodia? How is commercial arbitration mm -hmm. processed here? And also how are disputes normally resolved? Uh, usually for the market entry in Cambodia or in any country, people look at the aspect of law enforcement or mm -hmm. we call it as contract enforcement so usually it's a forum of resolving the dispute and then um, in terms of commercial matters which is a uh, different or more specialized than the civil matter it leaves out another options for enforcement cross-border which is commercial arbitration so as a friendly country to commercial arbitration Cambodia is a member of the New York Convention as well so that's why uh, we have a law on commercial arbitrations um, since 2005 if I'm not wrong for the entry into the World Trade Organization and then with that law on commercial arbitration we have one commercial arbitration center which is the National Center for Commercial Arbitrations and CAC so like if you have dispute usually people think about court right mm. but in terms of commercial matter it's very specific and some commercial relationship it goes into a sectoral and a very specific area like construction and everything that usually the court or the judges are not very specialized about. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, they leave up an option for the business partners to agree with each other up front. Mm -hmm. So the arbitration itself, there are two as well. There is ad hoc arbitration or center arbitration. So ad hoc arbitration means like we have our own rule, we just appoint the arbitrator from anywhere and then to really listen to our case and resolve the dispute. So arbitrator itself can decide on the dispute based on the procedure that somehow suggested and agreed by the parties. So it's very flexible. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is the center arbitration. The center arbitration meaning that if there is any dispute, we will refer the case to the arbitration center. Either the dispute happened everywhere, you can refer the dispute to any arbitration center in the world. So mm -hmm. either like before we have our own national commercial arbitration center, the business partner in Cambodia, they usually refer the dispute to either Singapore arbitration or Hong Kong arbitration center. And then within that, you have the procedure or you can have your own rule on how you appoint the arbitrator, either one arbitrator or three arbitrator. And then, uh, of course, they have a specific set of rule approved set by the center but it's mostly subject to the party consent because uh, this kind of arbitration procedure it's very based on the parties how you want to run it so when a dispute is brought to the national arbitration center mm -hmm. when they pick the arbitrators uh, could you also break a little bit down of how they do that process of qualifying the arbitrators so from one center to another center they have different rules on picking uh, provide accreditations to their arbitrator. Mm -hmm. So like in Cambodia and CAC specifically, usually the arbitrators that we have uh, must go through the training for three rounds of training or uh, three courses of training, we can say. And then you need to take the entrance exam to be the arbitrator. If you pass the exam, you must become the member of mm -hmm. the NCAC itself. And then you continue having the training afterward to really upgrade yourself and keep yourself up to the edge of the of being the arbitrator knowing mm -hmm. any rule and other options in NCAC is you are the arbitrator in other country so going a little bit more mm -hmm. into how the arbitration process might mm -hmm. be different for local and foreign companies mm -hmm. is it similar or are there different things that like a foreign company would have to do versus a local company it's a fair equal footing for everyone, mm -hmm. meaning that there is no national treatment or favor uh, nation treatment. It mm -hmm. means that as long as you are the legal entity or you are a business partner or you have commercial matters, we can say, because they accept only commercial matters. It's under the law on commercial arbitrations. So, and then as long as you have the agreement that you both of you bring the dispute to arbitrations, 
um, the parties are fairly somehow uh, treated because under the arbitration rules, it means that uh, both parties must be heard and must be treated fairly.